What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com, coming to you once again with another joint. Today, I'm going to showcase y'all, if y'all could tell by the title, I'm going to show y'all how to go about getting 808 slides inside of the MPC 2.1 software, as well as the MPC Live. Uh, I get this question often on how to get the slides in, in the MPC software. So what you want to do, you want to make sure that your, you know the key of your 808. If you don't know the key, it still works, but it's more accurate if you know the key so you could, you know, play in tune with what you're currently uh, working on, whatever song, track you're working on, beat or whatever. So you know the key. So when, so it'll be in key with your song. So the first thing you want to do, you want to find an 808, whatever 808 you find. It'll, it won't necessarily be the 808 that I'm showcasing right now, but it'll be whatever it is. So you find that 808. Fortunately for me, this 808 was already keyed and it told me that it was in the key of C. So I dropped the root note down to C3. Whenever uh, you load a sample into the software, it automatically drops it in the root note of C3. It places any sample that you put on any one of these pads, it places it on C3. Okay? So what you do is if, if you know the the, uh, the root note, it could be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, so forth. You put it in the octave that it's in. And usually a subtone octave would be in the key of the root note will be in the octave one. So C1, G1, B1, some will be in the the octave of C0 or below, but usually it'll be in a subtone of uh, one, the octave one. So once you have that and you find that out, you go ahead and you put the root note into C1, then you go to program edit and you slide over into sample layers. On the MPC X or MPC Live, MPC Ren, MPC Studio, MPC Touch, it will be under Pan Velocity. And in the fourth section, it'll say Root Note. So this is one, two, three, four. Right? So this is the Root Note right here. And then you simply click on it, you open it up, and you would put it in octave one, C1, all right? And then you're good to go. And then you're good to go. And the other step to that now is you go, you go into over here where it says velocity sensitivity on the, the MPC hardware. You go into uh, LFO modulation and in controller mode, <laughs> controller mode, in controller mode or controller modification, right here where it says pitch bend, it'll be on zero for you if you when you just put it in and you just push it all the way up to 100, just over you, it could be 12, 24, 32. You want to, you want to push it up so anytime you, uh, so anytime you, uh, once you 
push the the you the bend knob up. So that's basically what you would do. So you want to adjust it to your taste because if you put it up all the way to 100, it'll keep on going. So it goes all the way, like it goes to the highest octave if you put it on 100. So that's on 40. This is 100. And this is zero. We'll push it up 12. 24. That's two octaves. Uh, 32. Yeah. Basically, just play with it. Push it up to the octave level that you uh, that you want to adjust it to or bend up to. But that's pretty much how you uh, do 808 slides. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to record a pattern and then do the modulation separate. Before I do that, I'll show you that if you don't have any hardware, and you're trying to do the, uh, the modification, what you would do is, in this section right here, where it says modifier, right? You would, this arrow, you click this arrow, you go to track, you click on pitch bend, and it adds it. You then use your pencil tool, and click and draw in whatever it is you're doing. I don't like this method because it's a little bit too rigid. I'd rather use an actual, you know, something. You could use the kick, the Q links on on your uh, any of your NPCs, or if you have uh, a controller, a MIDI controller, you could use the the mod wheel. This is the MPK Mini. And it has this mod wheel, so I, I prefer to use that. So that's another way that you can also do it. So now I have I have that recorded. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys if I if I was to do it this way, I again come here. Uh for whatever reason it removed it. So I'm gonna place it back, pitch bend, and say right here, I'll go up. Then I'll come back down right here. Personally, don't don't really like that way of doing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in overdub. So that's pretty much it. 
that's how you obtain uh, 808 slides and that functionality uh, works with any sample that you have any sample that you have placed on your sample in your program it works it could work with kicks snares hats um, if you have any chord stabs or anything it, it works the same way as long as you know the key of the sample you put the key in and the root note rather you put the root note in and you're able to uh, obtain the slides you just you go to uh, program edit you put the the sample in the layer you go to the root note you put the root note in and you go to controller modification <laughs> no, 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 that's so difficult for me to say controller modification but it says control mod short for mod short for modification all right so that's pretty much it man if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit thumbs up uh if you're not subscribed become subscribed and, and hit that notification bell so anytime i upload any new content on the channel you'll be one of the first of many to be uh notified and again if you're not subscribed what are you waiting for salute to all the subscribers out there um yeah that's pretty much it man i am bk bkbangers.com do remember that music is life it is our dna keep banging y'all peace love and light till next time peace